In your book, why do you continually denigrate the work of David Irving? He's a scholar. He's discovered all sorts of primary sources no one else knew about. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, I, I don't think I do denigrate him. Actually, I, I don't really think about him that much. I, I don't think he's important. The internet is a phony democracy. It is phony. Everybody is entitled to opinion, but that doesn't mean that everybody has an equal gift of judgment. Some people are better at judging things than others, and the ones who are really good at judging are the ones who understand scientific proof and fact. And an opinion that's based on scientific proof and fact is worth more than somebody who just says, well, I think the moon's made out of custard. Um, I can go round. And then, and then on the internet you can say, oh, well, there are people who believe the moon's made out of custard and then people who don't. There are two points of view about this. Then you're into La La Land and crazy time. And I think that's what the film is trying to attack. Over here in America, uh, if you're accused of defaming someone, then it's up to them to prove that what you said is untrue. In the UK, the reverse is true. Wait, I have to prove what I said was true? Mm, correct. Is yes, but I'm the innocent party. A man accuses you of something and it's your job to prove he's wrong? Uh, it's against natural justice. In the US, there's a presumption of innocence. Yeah, not in the UK. The dialogue in the court is not mine. It's, it's actually what happened. But no, it would be true to say the book, but also extensively interviewing the people who were involved. So it, yes, it is based on a book, but I also spent time with Anthony Julius, with Richard Rampton, and indeed with the judge, who was especially useful and interesting to see it round from his point of view. So I interviewed absolutely everybody except David Irving, because given that the, the verdict was what the verdict was, and I agreed with the verdict, I did not think that I should talk to David Irving because I didn't want to get into psychological speculation about what his motivation is. I leave everybody, it's just a fact, he himself will say that he believes that Hitler has had what he calls a bad rap. And plainly, to restore Hitler's reputation is his intellectual, moral, spiritual project. That's what he's devoted his whole life to doing. And so I didn't personally want to go and talk to him, particularly as Deborah has a policy of refusing to engage with him. And although over the seven years she, she, she had a lot of doubt about that policy and began to think maybe you should debate with people who don't agree that the Holocaust happened, but at the end of it all she felt vindicated and that she'd taken the right course. Mm. Because you can't win in argument. You can only win in a court of law where the facts are tested. And the wonderful thing was that it was vindication for her in a court of law.